Hi everyone, my name's uh, Kabir Hamid, I'm uh, the Director of uh, Behaviour and Culture and just um, part of this session is going to be taking you on a tour of our facilities uh, here at Bradford Academy. Okay, so uh, we opened in 2007, uh, our secondary phase opened in 2007 and our primary phase opened in 2012. Uh, there's two entries into onto site, okay, we have a bottom gate uh, where primary use that as an entry and exit onto the site and we have a top gate okay which uh, secondary use coming onto site and, and leaving site okay uh, in the morning okay uh, students from uh, year 7 uh, to post 16 will be using the student entrance and as they come into the building they'll make their way uh, to their first lesson we're now here at uh, main reception uh, students and parents and carers can access this way uh, throughout the rest of the school day uh, once school is up and running. So as we come through the main entrance here, uh, we're actually situated at the bottom of the atrium. The first thing that you'll notice as you come through main entrance is here on the top right is our Bradford Academy prayer, the first paragraph uh, of the Bradford Academy prayer. And faith and spirituality is extremely important to us and instilling uh, a moral compass into young people is very, very important, okay? You'll also notice that we have uh, one of our key pedagogy mottos that are aligned at the bottom of uh, the prayer which is all learners are known, valued and understood. We've added guided recently because we think that's important in the modern world. Students and young people need guidance from, from adults and, and professionals uh, but that is a key pedagogy to our school and how we work with young people in Bradford. All learners are known, valued and understood and guided. Uh, here in Cafe Mojo uh, it's open uh, in the morning, we serve magic breakfast uh, which is free for all students. Uh, students can come just before the start of the, the lessons for the school day, have access to, to breakfast uh, and have a positive start to their learning. Uh, so now uh, we are here at the top of the atrium. Uh, we just come up the steps uh, and we're positioned here. This is literally the heart of Bradford Academy. If at any time any learners were lost or could not navigate around uh, the school, I would suggest that they start here and start again. Okay, so at the top of the atrium we have virtual notice boards as I call them, plasma screens where information is shared with regards to what's happening within school. As we come through top of the atrium we enter into, into the forum. This is another vast space that we have, it's a fantastic resource. Learners can come here and access this area throughout the school day. It's a, a multi-purpose use on the whole, it's used for lunch arrangements so students can come up here. Uh, socialised throughout their break and lunch time. Cold food is served within uh, the far section Cafe Mojo. Uh, you'll once again notice we have uh, a Bradford Academy prayer, the full prayers on there uh, and that's important to us. We often refer to that throughout our, our assemblies. Uh, we often refer to that through our staff training uh, and just that constant need for reflection uh, with our young people is extremely important to us. You'll also notice in the forum we have a, a gallery of excellence once a term, so three times a year. Uh, we'll look at the best work that's produced within each area, within each subject and it's displayed here and once again this is all about raising self-esteem, raising confidence and more importantly raising aspirations for our, for our young people. We are now into the, to the library. The library is open first thing in the morning and closes a little bit later on after school so students can access it first thing in the morning throughout the day and at the end of the school day. It's a fantastic resource. Uh, literacy is a key, key feature uh, within Bradford Academy. And you'll notice that we promote all kinds of reading. So we have today's newspapers and we have weekly magazines, which once again is just promoting reading with our young people. We have a very strong uh, Key Stage 3 accelerated reading program, uh, which uh, ha is now proving to have a very positive impact on learners' progress within their lessons. So here we are now in one of our uh, hubs. This is the math sub. Uh, this is, we have four hubs within school. Uh, we have the math sub, we have the English hub, we have the humanities hub, and we have the modern foreign languages hub. And all the hubs are in essence designed and based like this. So you have three closed classrooms and you have an open classroom. And you can see once again, uh, it's a quite a warm feel uh, to the classroom. It's quite open, it's quite visual. Um, okay, so here we currently are on the technology corridor. Uh, one of our other pedagogies that we have within our school and one of the founding principles were uh, we have the best resources, the best facilities uh, and the best staff. So this wing is dedicated to technology. We have cooking rooms uh, at the end of the corridor, state-of-the-art kitchens uh, are available. Uh, we have all the best facilities in terms of uh, technology, uh, resistant materials, uh, design uh, and tech. 
um, but the majority of the lesson, as it's a specialised subject, take place within this corridor. So we're now on the science corridor, this is just above uh, the technology corridor on the top floor uh, and once again uh, you'll notice from the facilities that we have they are second to none. We have amazing facilities for our learners. Uh, we have all the correct equipment for uh, state-of-the-art tests that take place within the science lesson. So once again, this is a specialised subject area. When learners are, are studying science, they will be asked to travel uh, to this area and participate within science. So uh, welcome to the PE area of Bradford Academy. Uh, PE is an extremely strong feature uh, here, here at Bradford Academy. We do have fantastic facilities for PE, uh, we have a mugger pitch, we have tennis courts, we have three grass pitches, we have a state-of-the-art uh, 4G pitch which is not only used by Bradford Academy but it's also used within uh, our local community. Uh, in the past Bradford Bulls have trained here uh, and Bradford City have also uh, trained here. We have a multi-gym uh, within the John Craig Centre which is available for our staff and students. It's also available uh, for our wider community. So even after hours, uh, some kind of sport element is still taking place uh, here on this site. Uh, we have a very strong sporting elite program. Uh, so uh, we look at learners who have the potential to excel in some sport, uh, whether that may be football, athletics, uh, netball, rounders, rugby, whatever it may be, okay, and then they're added to a sporting elite programme where they are given extra provision around enhancing their sporting talents. We have uh, here in the assembly hall, once again this is a multi-purpose venue, so it could be an assembly hall, uh, it could be an exam hall, uh, but often it's used for performing arts. And once again, performing arts is right at the centre of Bradford Academy. Uh, our performing arts team, in terms of their deliverance for um, shows and performances that they put on throughout the year, are literally second to none. Some have even said, and this is not me saying it, these are parents and carers that come watch their children. It's got a West End feel to it. It's, that quality is extremely high. We have a dance studio down in the primary hall. This is also uh, a dance studio. Uh, we have uh, a specialist music area. Learners can learn to play an instrument in year seven, uh, and that's uh, a one-to-one -one, uh, coaching, uh, depending on what instrument they would like to play, but we offer uh, a wide range of, of instruments available uh, to students. Uh, and did the, where we are now within the assembly hall, uh, this often, once a year, is turned into a, a, a fantastic, magical uh, set where uh, there's a performance that's put on we're sold out every evening and the learners really do a wonderful job in, in sharing a story and being creative. Uh, so on the opposite side of the school, uh, we have uh, the Gareth Dawkins building. This was recently open uh, and once again, it's a fantastic facility that we have. You can see it's got the same feel as secondary and primary in terms of design, colour and decor. Uh, and this is currently being used by our post 16 team uh, and post 16 learners. Okay, so here we are now within the sacred space. It's a, once again, a fantastic resource, state of the art facilities. In terms of where it's positioned, it's positioned right in the middle of secondary, but the sacred space is an important uh, facility for us. It gives us the opportunity to reflect and connect on uh, how the day's been. It's used for prayer, it's used for service, it's used for uh, the Friday prayer for some of our learners. Um, what you see in terms of design was designed by our staff and our community and our parents and carers. Uh, you'll notice the stained glass is a key feature of this room. We acknowledge all the fates within Bradford as a district and I think Bradford Academy is a true reflection of the city of Bradford in terms of diversity, in terms of ethnicity, uh, di different faiths and different backgrounds. And I think that's a real key celebration for our school. But learners can use this, staff can use this area, uh, and it's an opportunity to just take some time really away from uh, the hustle and bustle of uh, attending a secondary school. The final part is our primary setting, okay? You'll notice uh, we have an atrium steps. You'll notice we have a forum. Uh, you'll notice the decor and the design is very similar to the rest of the site, even though primary have its own systems and its own way of working. But the feel and the warmth of the place comes through all our site. All our buildings are, are, are very, very similar. And you'll notice here in primary, the lighthouse prayer uh, is a key feature, okay? And we have faith and spirituality uh, as a key feature, both in primary and secondary. 
Uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it's given you an insight into life at Bradford Academy.